welcome you all once again to marine mechanic videos and the topic for the day is very simple it's semi rotary hand pump so semi rotary it means that you can move the handle from this position to this which means you cannot rotate it fully as the other hand pump which we are going to deal in the next video so this is semi rotary which means from here this position to this position the travel of the handle is going to be only from here to here that's why it is called a semi rotary and hand pump obviously we are going to pump it with the help of our hand so before going into the construction where do we use this pump on board if you look at small ships like uh, a small offshore supply vessel most of the most of these vessels use such pumps for bilge pumping for even topping up of uh, diesel oil tanks or lube oil tanks even topping up of crankcase of diesel engine with lube oil so this is basically a multi purpose pump you can use it for water lube oil diesel oil anything the only precaution what you're going to take before using it on different fluids is just to flush the pump thoroughly so that there is no contamination so apart from this the pump is very simple it has a handle over here with which you can you're going to move this in this fashion and to the handle there is a fulcrum point there is a lever which is going to get attached to this handle so that as i shift the handle like this this is going to move like this and this is the movable part and here is the stationary v shaped chamber so this is the stationary part which is not going to move and here is the suction and the discharge or the delivery and here you have the tiny red ones or the valves which are going to control the fluid flow through the pump now at this position of the handle the movable part is like this and here you can see the oil or any fluid can come in and then at this position the oil or fluid is getting discharged the entrapped fluid between this space pushes the suction valve down here is the suction valve it keeps the suction valve closed and due to the pressure build up at this space the entrapped fluid forces the discharge valve to open here is the discharge valve to open and then the fluid goes out to the delivery through the piping it goes out when you look at the other side here is a vacuum which is going to get created and this vacuum keeps the delivery valve or the discharge valve closed and lifts up the suction valve taking in more fluid filling up the space now when i move the handle from here to here at this position again the entrapped fluid between the space is going to get pressurized and then it lifts the delivery valve up and closes the suction valve and the fluid is going to go to the discharge side so that's the simple working of this hand pump so probably you will use such pumps for priming the generator before starting it in case of manual old ships nowadays we have auto priming pump so these pumps were used in uh, let's say a ship which is built 20 or 30 years before such pumps are used for priming generator the boil before starting the engine and uh, the construction is very simple like this and the material used is usually cast iron for the casing and the handle is also going to be cast iron or similar material and the valves and these chambers are going to be bronze or brass depending on the application so the reason why they have made it as bronze or brass is if these parts are worn out you can take it out just remove the lock nut over here remove this there is a pin over here to remove the valve and valve seat alone replace that part alone and then assemble it that's it
So that's all about this pump. In the next video, we'll watch about the rotary hand pump, the working and construction. Thank you.